Well, the price of gold held losses near a three-week low as investors assess the strength of the U.S. economy and when the Federal Reserve will begin to reduce monetary stimulus. Gold has fallen 24% this year, heading for the biggest drop since 1981. Gerhard Schubert is Head of Commodities at Emirates MBD Wealth Management. He's with us this evening here on Emirates News. Gerhard, good to have you back on the program. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. So, so what are the main factors at the moment currently driving the price of gold? I think you mentioned already one of them. Mm. The uncertainty about when the withdrawal of the stimulus, the tapering of the QE will begin. Uh, the discussions are really we're focusing on March at the FOMC meeting, but I wouldn't rule out the December meeting after these very strong non-farm payrolls released last weekend. Uh, when we have seen the, uh, the employment numbers a lot better than expected and especially the revisions of the September and August numbers. Assume for a second that the November numbers which will be released at the 6th of December would be equally good. I think this would give an incentive to the Fed to consider at the FMC meeting 17th, 18th of December to withdraw some of the stimulus and that is driving a little bit the gold price and the fear for lower prices. Physical demand is doing well in China, but in India we're seeing significant reductions of gold imports. Now Gerhard, how important is the imminent launch of the DGCX spot gold contract for investors? <clears throat> I think the DGCX contract, uh, which is scheduled now to be launched in the second quarter of 2014, I think this will enable uh, the investors and also the retail investors to buy a relatively small amount of gold on a kilogram basis without having to take physical delivery with all the hustle involved. They can have a long position which can be rolled over because obviously you have to be aware if a customer takes physical delivery, for example in the gold souk, and then he wants to sell it at some point, the gold would, there, would, there would be issues with verification and assaying which are time consuming and expensive. Now what are the best opportunities for pressure, precious metal investors at the moment would you say? I'm looking towards 2014 for a little bit of a challenging year potentially for gold. But the challenging, gold for, uh, challenging period for gold, because of the economic upturn also in the US, Europe coming out of the doldrums and China is doing pretty well, I think this will give opportunities to platinum palladium. Right. Platinum palladium are the industrial precious metal, especially for the automotive industry, for the catalyst, and they will be benefit. So I believe that there's a good chance that the, that the premium currently $140 from platinum or $150 from platinum over gold will will rise probably towards 300. Now we're running out of time, Gerhard, but um, are the seasonal patterns for buying gold predictable or producing a few surprises at the moment? Well, they have. Obviously, there have been a lot less uh, buying from India due to the current account deficit, due to the import restrictions. And I think this will show positively in the Indian current account deficit in the balance. But obviously, a lot of the imports which were meant for China uh, they have been, uh, sorry for India, they have gone to China. China has a 4.9 gold market, but by the Indian market is 9.95, so a lot of gold has come directly from Europe into China, and Dubai has, has missed out a little bit on this move. All right, well, Gerhard Schubert, once again, great to have you back on the program. Thank you. Thank you very much.